Melissa says, hi, Denzel. How can I start Velocity Banking with no personal line of credit? I cannot get approved. Also, do you recommend term life insurance? Okay, so, so the question is, can I do Velocity Banking without a personal line of credit? So, no debt tool, okay? No PLOC, no HELOC, no all-in-one loan, no life insurance policy. Can I do Velocity Banking? To a degree, yes, okay? And I could potentially do Velocity Banking with a credit card. If I do not have a credit card that I can use, then we are in pregame work. Or even if you do have a credit card, you're in the pregame of Velocity Banking. Nothing wrong with being in the pregame. You need to take the right steps. So pregame includes credit, right? So that means I need a strategy to build my credit score first, right? That's, that's, the, that's the main thing. So Melissa says I cannot get approved, so I'm, I'm assuming she applied and got denied. So if she applied, got denied, she shot herself in the foot, didn't do all her research, guess what? Credit score drops a little bit. Now I have an inquiry. So really the priority is right here. I would say building credit. And then the other priority would be cash flow, taking a look at your cash flow and doing debt snowball or debt baseball, right? So is there uh, certain debts that I can start just simply making extra payments with? In the meantime, those are typically the smaller debts, you know, credit cards, maybe a personal loan, maybe a, you know, a car payment, certain hospital bills or collections or, you know, what are some things that I can start getting rid of, right? Get my four major numbers in line, income, expense, debt, and cash flow. I need to know my numbers. So we got three things so far. I need to know my numbers. I need to know where every dollar is going. I need to establish discipline, right? This is what I'm doing. It's the preliminary pregame stuff. Second thing, take my extra cash flow, start throwing it at my smallest debts. I'm trying to build credit. And then I learn about building credit. Do I need to, is it worth hiring somebody? You can work with my friend Brittany Green, clicking the link in the description below where it says, you know, build your personal credit here. All right, or repair, or fix your personal credit. So you have the option of hiring somebody or doing the work yourself by uh, watching a lot of videos, okay? Maybe buy a DIY course on personal credit, which is a little more inexpensive, but it's more work. So that's, that's the other priority. And you're essentially positioning your credit, your income, your cash flow to then reapply for a personal line of credit when the time comes, okay? So yes, but not to its full extent, right? You can't actually do velocity banking to its full extent until you have a personal line of credit or a HELOC or an all-in-one loan, a cash value life insurance policy. That's when, you know, the magic does occur. And then the second part of your question, term life, do you recommend it? Sure, definitely. You know, if I'm able to get, you know, I pay 50, if I'm able to pay 50 bucks a month or something and I'm able to get, a, you know, a quarter million or more, you know, in death benefit for the time being and I, and I can afford it from my cash flow, it doesn't really hurt my, my uh, four major numbers, yeah, it wouldn't be so bad. Maybe, maybe it's a 10... 10 year or 20 year or 30, whatever it is, I don't think it would hurt to have some protection if you have no protection. So if you have, if you have no protection whatsoever, you're at the pregame stages, you, you don't have velocity banking implemented in yet, you've been maybe doing debt snowball, you're trying to get your numbers right, 
um, and, but you have a family, you have kids, husband, spouse, wife, you know, and, and you're like, okay, I need, I need some death benefit, you know, because maybe you have a total of 300K of debt with no protection, at least maybe I can get some protection for the time being in case something happens to me on my, say, debt-free journey. I don't think that would hurt to uh, have that. So that's a good question. That's a good question. I don't think it would hurt. You know, don't get sold into some high expensive term. There are some very affordable term life policies out there. Just, just do some extra research. If you go on YouTube, you'll see a lot of YouTubers with their links sending you to different you know, locations where you can get really, really cheap term policies, you know, and that helps.